kind of mediocre. Oh, a you is beer drink with another, whoa, don't call it that. It's beer drink, your favorite Spanish speaking Puerto Rican. Remember that one time at the Puerto Rican day parade that one dude was over there behind that dumpster making shepherd's pie in that barrel trash can? Velzizimo, best shepherd's pie I ever had in my entire life. But anyway, today we were viewing a beer by Pontoon Brewing Company out of Sandy Springs, Georgia, I believe. I guess this is gonna be the thumbnail because I don't have to put my face in there. You know why? Because the face isn't accompanied by titties. And this isn't an Instagram post. Therefore, 35 likes at best. <laughs> Pineapple milkshake India Pale Ale, 7.5 alcohol by volume on this thing. Milkshake IPA with pineapple, vanilla, and lactose. This thing is brewed from what I already said, Pontoon Brewing Company out of Sandy Springs, Georgia, 7.5% alcohol by volume. I'm a huge fan of the pineapple persuasion. So I had to check this one out and truthfully shout out Sigmund Bottle. My boy over there, my dog over there, my homie over there, man. You know what I'm saying? My my Indian brother over there at Sigmund Bottle. I asked him about it. He was like, no, that shit's fire. I'm like, word, I've been having my eye on it, but I haven't seen it around, but I saw it at Sigmund Bottle, so I picked it up. The only quarrel that I have with this beer is the fact that I, I was like, yo, okay, four pack. It's probably about what, twelve ninety nine, thirteen ninety nine. Got this bitch to the counter, eighteen eighteen after tax, whatever. Anyhow, damn nigga, Sean, Pontoon Brewing Company. We need to come up with some type of payment plan. <laughs> we need to come up with some type of monthly subscription. <laughs> Drinking good beer is expensive as fuck, AKA, that's what that meant. But anyway, huge fan of Pontoon Brewing Company. I don't think that there's been one beer that I've had from Pontoon Brewing Company that I didn't enjoy. And that says a lot. Not one that sucked or not one that was mediocre. Not one that I didn't enjoy. And the crazy thing about it, I think Pontoon Brewing may be the, my most reviewed Georgia beer to date. Uh, the, and, uh, if there's a close second or third, it would have to be Wild Leap and Scofflaw. Had a bunch of shit from them, but it is what it is. We got this pontoon combustible pineapple. Go ahead and get that big crack. That is a beautiful, hazy, darker orange. Pour it down the mids. Pour it down the mid sections. <laughs> mid section. Bubble streaming up or like the salmon. Fourth degree Cicerone, clean glass. You already see. Ain't no sticking in that bitch, but it is would be about a finger's worth of head produced on that beer. I hate saying that. You know what? This is the last time that you'll ever hear old beer drink say, finger's worth of head, about finger's worth. Shut up, man. You know what? You know what? You know what? Whew. This is very, uh, it's strong as far as the bitterness aspect that you get off the nose very fucking strong not, not i ain't gonna say very strong it tastes like a very fruity beer i'll say that you can tell it's going to be bitter you definitely get a sweetness off the nose and it's pineapple so you already know pineapples is one of the fruits to wear i mean i'm pretty sure these motherfuckers use actual fucking like clean fucking organic actual pineapple because that's what they're known to do at pontoon like they are crazy on their ingredients that they brew their beer with anyway pineapple is the one fruit to me to where if you have a pineapple candy pineapple cake pineapple this pineapple that the shit actually tastes like pineapple like uh chris D'Elia said it best on one of his podcasts he's like yo grape candy grape i forget what he said grape something he's like this shit don't taste like grapes it tastes nothing like grapes but we're just fucking programmed to where it's like oh that's how a grape jolly rancher tastes or that's how great whatever this and that and the other taste but the one thing with pineapple pineapple is so distinct you can even without using actual pineapple you can mimic the pineapple taste because pineapple is pine apple it's apples of pine but anyway we're gonna go ahead and get in this crab beer review it smells It's funny that I brought up Jolly Ranch. It's real candy ass said that shit. I said candy ass nigga. Am I one of these Instagram craft beer? You can't say that in today's society, folks, okay? So I'm not either. But anyway, a smooth finish on it. Definitely bitter on the mid sections of the uh, of the uh, of the of the mouth feels. <laughs> Medium mouth feel. This beer isn't at its coldest point. But it is cold and out of the refrigerator. 
<laughs> just went outside and smoked the cigarette. Ever heard of that? And forgot it on the table. And I'm like, you know what? Damn, I should have just grabbed the. Uh, I should have just grabbed another one out of the refrigerator. This is how fucking retarded minded that I am. That is so fucking retarded. But anyway, it is what it was gonna be. I'm fucking with this beer. 7.5 alcohol by volume. Very masked. Definitely get the lactose and the vanilla on the front. <clears throat> you get the vanilla n lactose on the front midsection. You get the bitterness on the back. You get that sweetness from the pineapple. This is a damn good beer, straight up. This is a damn good beer. I'm not going to say that this is my absolute favorite India Pale Ale, or even my favorite India Pale Ale from um, Pontoon Brewing, but this is a fucking top-notch India Pale Ale, straight the fuck up. Uh, oh. I fuck with it hard. I'm not sure if it makes sense, but when I say candy-fied, like it definitely, like it reminds me of, it, you get you get that candy feel from it, like because it's sweet, but then it's kind of like a, a weird, I'm not even sure what kind of, the shit tastes like pineapple. That was one weird fucking beer. It's like, hey, hola. It's, I'm pineapple. And then you're like, oh, cool. Nice to meet you, pineapple. And then you get to know it's like, psych. No, I'm not. Not really too much or whatever. But then you get to know them. You get to know, you get to know combust, combustible, combustible. And then it's like, Psych, yeah, it's me again. It's I'm really pineapple. I was just playing. I was just playing with you. I said that I was pineapple at first, but then I said that, haha, psych, jokes on you. I'm a just uh, I, um, bitter or some shit, and then and then you like really think about it, and you burp, and then it's like, ha ha, yeah, I'm really pineapple. <laughs> I hope you like me better now. <laughs> So yeah, yeah. Be yourself. Be a man, Hogan. <laughs> yeah, it goes down smooth. You get the vanilla, the lactose. It's very mild to the nose, as I said. And I like this shit. I like this shit a whole lot. And I'm not gonna fucking. I like this shit. I'm gonna. I have a couple more in the refrigerator, and I'm going to damn drink them. How about that? How about that? If the shit sucked, I wouldn't drink it. If the shit sucked, I wouldn't. I would. I, yeah. But anyway, this is real good. And to be honest, I think, and this may not be, I don't go by the rules. You know what I'm saying? I think this beer may be better enjoyed. I'm going to drink another one afterwards straight out of the refrigerator, icy cold. But I like the characteristics that I get out of this beer with it being a little bit less than right out of the refrigerator. I think it's probably it probably gets a little thicker to the mouth, probably warms up, and you could probably smell a little bit better after you leave it out. As you drink it, you get the pineapple in the nose going out. Yeah. With every sip, this shit gets better. Totally, totally, totally straight up and down. Pontoon Brewing Company. Combustible pineapple milkshake IPA. On a scale of 0 to 5, I've got to rate this beer a 4. I almost said 4.5. And then, truthfully, off the rip, I was thinking 5. But... The only element to this beer that I would like maybe a little bit more, to be honest, is the pineapple, maybe. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you got a pineapple, you got a pineapple fucking explosion right there. And there wasn't so much a pineapple explosion in the mouth. <clears throat> it was more so a very balanced situation. When I just burped, <clears throat> when I just burped again, it, it, it tasted like a pineapple cup it's it tastes like a pineapple fruit cup so what what you niggas trying to do huh you trying to make me look like a fucking idiot right here <laughs> so i guess what you, if you really want that combustible pineapple flavor burp after every gulp it is what his weight was gonna be this is a great beer i'm gonna stick to it four out of five definitely a good rating pontoon brewing company i guess you motherfuckers can't do nothing wrong man straight the fuck up sean as I said, we gotta come. We, we we gotta come up with some type of fucking monthly Netflix. <laughs> we need to come up with some type of monthly pontoon Netflix type of deal. Put two and two together, and you get seven. Anyway, it's beer drink. Hope you all enjoyed this. Another crap. Another. I did it. Another beer review from your. It's beer drink. Delicious beer, guys. Shout out Digidude Nate. I'm really. Warming up to that guy. He's a real good dude. 
when I first came across him, like even when I reviewed his beer, I'm like, who the fuck is Digi Dude Nate? The dude's hilarious. He's a good dude. Shout out Digi Dude Nate. Shout shout out Sean over there at Pontoon Brewing once again. Congratulations on the new baby that you brought into the world. Yeah, eighteen dollars for this four pack though. Uh, what? Knowing damn well if they drop another beer next one month and it's twenty seven dollars for a fucking two and a half pack, I fucking still get it. 